Let's check out this cute little example. So you've got uh, 1 over n raised to some power that's a little bit bigger than 1, but not quite that much because this exponent is going towards 0. So we'll real quickly check the condensation conditions. They're all positive, they're decreasing. This one might take a little bit of work to show, but you can do it. I have faith in you. Take a derivative and make sure that the derivative is negative after some point, showing that eventually it's decreasing. We really only care about the tail. All right, I leave that up to you. Now, uh, applying the condensation test, I would say that 1 over um, n to the 1 plus 1 over n behaves just the same way as 2 to the n times 1 over uh, 2 to the n um, raised to the 1 plus 1 over 2 to the n. Now, we'll have to do a little bit of algebra here. I reckon that would be 2 to the n on the top, and on the bottom that would be 2 to the n times 2. Uh, you have to distribute this, so this would be 2 to the n n over 2 to the n, right? Uh, this cancels and so this becomes the same as 1 over 2 to the 2 to the, uh, sorry, that would be n over 2 to the n. Bobby. What's up, buddy? No. You're missing out my concentration, buddy? All right. Um, so this one, the original one, behaves just like this one. Now on this one, you've got an exponent where, maybe we can do a little bit of analysis on this one, n over 2 to the n. If you apply the limit as n goes towards infinity, this will give you 0 infinity over infinity. You could apply L'Hopital, so this would be 2 to the n times ln of 2. Plug-in method will give you 1 over infinity, which is equal to 0. So for large n's, this is going towards zero, clearly, because the bottom is much more powerful than the top. So, so these terms, these terms look roughly like one over uh, one, two to the zero, or two to the zero if you want, which is equal to summation of one. Um, if you have any doubts, you can do a little um, limit comparison test or whatnot. Uh, this says that the original one behaves just like this one, and so therefore it it uh, diverges clearly and obviously because this is just adding one infinite many times. So that one right there diverges. Very nice, elegant use of the Cauchy condensation test. Amazing. You can never have uh, too many tests, right? I've heard people say that. But I think for now. That's all you get with your price of admission. If you want more tests, you gotta pay extra money. Alright, we'll see you guys here next time. Peace. Hell yeah, they gotta pay money. Cuz, if you're good at something, buddy, don't do it for free.